Hi there, I'm New Hampshire Realtors Communications Director Dave Cummings, that's Ollie behind me, and I've got a real quick look at our June monthly housing indicators report. So let's jump right in. Right here on our homepage, you can find the high level county by county data for the month compared to the same month of the prior year, and the individual counties are right over here on the left. Now let's look briefly at the monthly indicators report itself. And we'll start quickly with that monster number on page one, where we can see that the median sales price for residential homes in New Hampshire for June was $409,000, which you can see right over here in the narrative. Fun fact, it was only a little over two years ago, May of 2019, that the state hit the $300,000 median price for the first time. So here we are just 25 months later at $409,000. Now let's jump ahead to page four, where you'll see that closed sales are up slightly from last year. You look right over here. But one thing to remember here is that for the next few months, when we look back at 2020, it's going to be somewhat skewed by last year's pandemic affected market. So it's probably worth going back to 2019 also. So with that in mind, you can see that the closed sales are actually down by about 180-ish units since then. So why does the market seem so much crazier now than it did then? And of course, we all know the answer to that, almost three times more inventory two years ago. It's that lack of inventory, of course, that affects almost everything else that you'll see in these pages. So let's skip quickly right through a few of those. Here is a detailed look at pricing on page five. That's median sales price. We talked about the 409,000. And as you can see in the line graph below, that is a wildly historic number in New Hampshire. Nothing even close over the last 15 years to page seven. We've got average days on the market at 18 days or just a little over two weeks on average to go from listing to an accepted offer on residential properties in New Hampshire. Next, we'll look at inventory on page 11. There were just over 1,900 homes on the market at the end of June, right here, compared to more than 3,000 a year ago, nearly 5,500 two years ago. What does it all mean? Lack of affordability. Here on our final page, you can see that the affordability index is as low as we've seen it in at least the last 16 years. So to take a look at the data for yourself, you can find the monthly market indicators at our homepage, nhar.org. If you've got questions, feel free to reach out to me by email, dave at nhar.com. Thanks for watching.